It's Bible time. <gasps> it's Bible time. It's Bible time. It's, it's Bible, Bible time. time. <gasps> it's Bible time with Aunt JJ. It's, it's Bible time with Aunt JJ. It's Bible time with Aunt JJ. That's me. Get your Bible if you have one, because it's time to study the Bible together. The Bible is God's Word. God helped him write it so we can know for sure that everything in it is completely true. We've been reading about Jesus, the Savior God promised to send. Jesus lived a perfect life. He proved He is God by controlling nature, healing people, forgiving sins, and raising people from the dead. Many people followed Him, but many other people rejected Him. Some people hated Him. Today, we're going to read about a time some people set a trap for Jesus. When you hear the word trap, what do you picture in your mind? A trap can be a noun, a thing. A trap is used to catch something by surprise. Have you ever seen a trap? There are different types of traps. A mouse trap is used for catching mice. Special sticky papers can be used to trap bugs to keep them off of plants. The police can set traps for people who speed. One time, my family had to set out a trap for an armadillo who kept digging up our yard. The word trap can also be a verb, an action word. It is the action of catching something in a trap. Police trap speeders. Farmers trap bugs. My family trapped an armadillo. Don't worry, we took it to a place where it could live safely and we let it go. We're going to read about a time when people try to trap Jesus with words. They wanted to catch Jesus saying something that could get him in trouble. Let's read and see what happened. I'm going to read from the book of Matthew. Matthew is the first book in the New Testament and is the book of the Gospels. The Gospels record the good news of Jesus' life on earth as a man. Matthew records true things that really happened with real people. While I read my own paraphrase of some of Matthew 22, listen for who tried to trap Jesus, for what trap they used, and for what Jesus said. The Pharisees made plans to trap Jesus with his own words. They sent their followers to him. They sent the Herodians with them. They said, Teacher, we know that you are truthful. You teach the way of God truthfully. You do not let others tell you what to do or say because you don't care how important they are. Tell us then, what do you think? Is it right to pay taxes to Caesar or not? But Jesus knew their evil plans. He said, you are pretending to be something you are not. Why are you trying to trap me? Show me the coin used for the tax. So they brought him a silver coin. Jesus said to them, whose picture is this and whose words? They replied, Caesar's. He said to them, then give back to Caesar what belongs to Caesar and give back to God what belongs to God. When they heard this, they were amazed. They left him and went away. The Pharisees got together. One of them, who was an expert in the law, asked Jesus a question to test him. He said, Teacher, which is the most important commandment in the law? Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and most important commandment. The second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. Everything that is written in the law and the prophets is based on these two commandments. Did you hear who tried to trap Jesus, how they tried to trap him, and what Jesus said? Let's review by playing. That's it. I'll say a question and then I'll give some answers. When I say the correct answer, jump up and say, that's it. Who tried to trap Jesus? Sinners, tax collectors, Pharisees, that's it. Pharisees made plans to trap Jesus. At first, Pharisees and Herodians went to Jesus. Later, just the Pharisees were mentioned. How did they try to trap Jesus? With chains, with guards, with the law, with his own words. That's it. They tried to trap Jesus with his own words. What was the first trap about? Taxes. That's it. The trap was if people should pay the Roman taxes or not. The Jewish people did not like the fact that Romans were in charge of them and did not like paying taxes to them. So if Jesus said they should pay taxes, that might make some of the Jewish people mad. But if Jesus said they should not pay taxes, he would be in trouble with the Romans. So it seemed that no matter what Jesus said, there would be trouble. How did Jesus respond? He said they should not pay taxes. He said they should pay taxes. That's it. Jesus knew they were trying to trap him. Jesus pointed out that their coins had on them a picture of their leader, Caesar. Jesus said, 
Caesar should be given what belongs to him, and God should be given what belongs to him. What did they think about Jesus' response? They were angry. They were happy. They were amazed. That's it. The people were amazed and left Jesus. What was the next question about? Taxes? The law? That's it. Later, some Pharisees asked Jesus what the most important commandment was. They were testing him to see what he would say. How did Jesus respond? Sacrifice, justice, love, that's it. Jesus said the most important commandment is to love God with all your heart, soul, and mind. What is the second most important commandment about? Sacrifice, justice, love, that's it again. The second most important commandment is to love your neighbor as yourself. You should love others and want good things for others. All the other laws depend on these two laws. Great job playing, that's it. The Pharisees tried to trap Jesus by getting him to say something that would cause trouble. But Jesus knew what they were trying to do and he amazed them with his answer. He also told them that all the law depends on the two most important commandments. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. Jesus showed his wisdom. Jesus is God. He is truth and he is wise. We can trust in Jesus. Now it's time for Eyes on Him, the part of our lesson when we focus on what the scriptures say about God. When you study the Bible, look for what the scripture reveals or shows about God. Then think about how that knowledge of God should impact, change, matter to your life. I see that God is omniscient. He has all knowledge about all things for all time. He knows why people do the things they do. He knows the answers to our questions. He even knows our questions before we ask them. He knows everything. I see that Jesus wasn't the Messiah they expected. The Pharisees asked Jesus a political question. Would Jesus rebel against the Roman government? The Jewish people didn't like the Romans ruling over them, and they expected the Messiah to save them. But Jesus didn't come to change the government. He came to change hearts and lives. He came to show us God. He came to die for our sins and rise from the dead so we can be saved. He wasn't what they expected. I see that God wants us to love him. More than sacrifice or heartless law following, God wants us to love him. It is the most important commandment. What else does this passage show you about God? How should you live differently because of who God is? And now it's time for the Wheel of Wonder. The time in our lesson when we spin the wheel and wonder. What will our Wheel of Wonder question be today? It landed on green. Our Wheel of Wonder question for today is, is it wrong to ask God questions? No, it isn't wrong to ask God questions. The problem with what the Pharisees did was their motive, the reason they were asking questions. They weren't really trying to learn truth. They were trying to trap Jesus and they were testing him to see what he would say. They wanted to catch him saying something wrong when you wonder something about God or the Bible or life, you can ask God. In fact, he is the best one to ask. He is truth and has the power to help you. God can help you understand truth and give you wisdom. Jesus said that the most important law is to love God and the second law is to love others. The Pharisees weren't obeying either of those commandments. They didn't really love God and they didn't love their neighbor Jesus. They tried to trap Jesus by catching him saying something wrong. But Jesus amazed them and showed his wisdom. Jesus is wise. Jesus is truth. We can trust Jesus. Let's pray. Holy Father, please help us to love you and love others. Please give us wisdom and help us to understand more about you. Please help us to trust you. You can be trusted. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Well, sweet friends, I've loved studying God's Word with you today. There's no better time than Bible time, and I hope you'll join me next time for Bible Time with Aunt JJ. Like this video, subscribe to this channel, and go to BibleTimeWithAuntJJ.com for free activities that go along with today's Bible study. It's Bible Time with Aunt JJ!